Okay, welcome to part two. And we're starting off with the same roster letter that was in um last video. So you're going to go to vector layer one. And it's gonna be the strip. And what you're going to do is let me check this one more time. On your banner, your vector layer, go to blend mode, difference, and bring it at about, let me check, okay, 28. So, <laughs> go to your opacity and drag it down to about. Twenty-eight. When you're done, click apply. Go to well, click the um, click the arrow, new vector layer. Okay, and right over that layer. You create that same line, but this time multiply it. So even if it's multiplied, you can either have it in front or in back. Preferably, what I did last time, it was in back. Let's see. Now you can do your multiply with this particular texture or let's see let's go back since this one is a bit dark. Go to your materials box. Go back to pattern click on the pattern button and once again choose a layer or something or not a layer, choose a texture that's close to it, that's a little bit lighter than the first line that vector okay. we're still in line vector 2 so instead of using the last texture I'm going to use a lighter texture I didn't realize I used it in the first one Right in the first button, I didn't realize I used it, so let's use that one and let's put it on multiply. Can bring it up a little bit. And as you can see, what it does is it creates that effect where it kind of looks like you have something layered there, but you can't really see exactly what you layer. Okay. Go back to your materials. Click on your um, pattern if it's not there already. Click on the button. Go back to your dark one. Now, mind you, whenever you're making your pattern, it, you don't have to use the same things that I'm using. You can use your own, your favorite textures. Just make sure you have one that's dark and one that's light depending on what colors that you're using. So if you're using hot pink, you use something that's a bit of a darker pink and then something that's maybe like a powder pink at the same time. So you, the colors have to coordinate in some kind of way. But you want to have a dark picture or a dark texture or an, and or a lighter picture. Either way, you have to have some sort of contrast. I hope I'm making sense. Go back to the darker um, texture. 
and let's see make sure because I'm following my own um, roster layers so we're going to do a soft light obviously alright um, click on the arrow button on the side of the layers choose roster layer and press ok Go back to where you are, where you were, where you have your um, previous two layers, well, vector layers right here, and do, oops, too far out. About right here. Make sure it your line is straight. And what you're going to do at this point is since you're still on this end, all you have to do is press upward and it'll give you a bit of, a, of an angle. Go back to the beginning on your left hand side. Oops, sorry. Click on in. Oops. Nope. Technical difficulties. Hold on a second. Okay, now it should work. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Hold on for me, please. Okay, there we go. Alright, and you do the same angle as what you did with that one beforehand. Okay, and the technical difficulties that we had beforehand were I was not selecting the end portions of my vector layers correctly when you line them up and you click out make sure you double click so it won't connect to the other end when you try to double click and click out so maybe I should do that one again so I'll just completely take it out and start that one over do a new vector layer remember make sure to keep these lines straight you are at the end so click out doesn't matter exactly how you click out just as long as you click out Make sure you click on that N button or the N square. Click on that square. Click out. Once again, make sure you add some sort of angle. I think I used this. Um, I used this at some point in one of my other um, panels. Okay, and do. Go to blend mode, soft light. Once again, you have that layered look of line vectors. But if you don't like something or this edge that'll be right there, what you can do is you can go to erase the tool. No one to know the difference. It'll tell you that you need to change it and or convert it into a raster layer. Convert it. Once you finish you can erase it. If you want to show your background a little bit more. 
and I want to know the difference. Okay, and let's quickly check what is next. And we actually are supposed to copy, it looks like. So create another roster. Click on um, roster 9. Right click. Copy. Click on roster 10. Paste. The problem that we might have at this point is that I did erase. See that little bit right there? <laughs> I did erase that part. So let's see if I can screen it without any problems. I might have to start or make another one, but right now I'm being lazy. Oh, it does it. Okay. Um, let's make sure that when I screen. I don't have to, um, yeah, I gotta take it down to 14 because it's a little light. So go to this part, the opacity, and click and hold and drag it all the way to 14. If you want to bring the lightness out, you can drag vector number two to the forefront. That way it becomes a little bit lighter around her belly or your centerpiece's belly or whatever you have. Um, this is the finished product towards the bottom, so it's pretty much the same for right now until we add different effects um, in this area right here. So what comes next is the effects actually and those are nothing but line brushes so what you want to do is create a new raster layer. You want to go to paintbrush. You're going to switch or swap your materials by clicking these two arrows right here. While you're in your paintbrush, you want to go and change your brush. I'm going to use um, burn. And just play around with it until you see, or until it ends up turning into something that you want to happen. However, if you want to let's say darken this color up a bit to make it a little bit more realistic you can go down a couple of notches if you don't feel like using the rotation um, key that'll basically rotate your brush to the other side if you want something that's identical click on your selection tool in this area it doesn't matter how big the square is. Select it. Go to image. Mirror. You're still in selection tool, so grab this. Make sure it's in this area. So you can keep this or you can go to your eraser tool, make it a little bit bigger and space it out a tad bit. And 
y3 is next.